So you man, it's your boy Action Jackson, man. In today's video, I'm going to be updating you guys on the Dallas Cowboys 30 visits. And they do inquire some big names. So before we hop to the video, I appreciate if you guys would like the video. Subscribe if you're new, comment and share my video with anyone who you think might enjoy my content, man. So hopping straight into it, man. As you guys can tell by the screenshot I put on the board right now. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys added more to their... Uh, 30 visits, uh, which included a lot more wide receivers and DBs, which is what I believe the Dallas Cowboys are still wanting to go out and attack because, you know, just because we got Brandon Cooks and we got uh, stuff on Gilmore doesn't mean that we still need position thrown at that position or we still need, you know, competition going at those positions. Uh, you still have stuff on Gilmore, who you have for at least a year. Then you have Brandon Cooks that you have for two years. Uh, since you did rework his deal. So now, you know, the players that were involved and who were added to the 30-day uh, was DB, uh, Emmanuel Forbes, Mississippi State, really nice corner. Uh, cornerback Tyreek uh, Stevenson, he's a 6'2", 6'3", corner with length on him and speed. So that that's definitely could be somebody like that, Tyreek Woolen, in this, tight, in this year's draft. Uh, just because they're on 30-day visit doesn't necessarily mean that they will be you know, selected by Dallas Cowboys at pick 26 per se. But, you know, because if uh, if all world talent were fall fall to them, like a, uh, a Jason, if he was to fall, which he is included, you know, Jackson Spickling, but he did. Uh, he was part of the 30 day visits. But, you know, if all world talent falls to them, like a B. John Robinson, you know, the, he's, you know, B. John isn't really going to be included on this 30 day visit, but sure, you know, what B. John brings to the table. So I can see Dallas Cowboys dropped him if you were to make it a 26. If a guy like Joey Porter uh, makes a 26 and he's not on the Dallas Cowboys 30-day visit, we can pick him up as well. So there's a certain players that, you know, you don't have to get visits with because you already know what they bring to the table. Uh, Tyreek Stephenson, somebody that you probably get uh, early day two, late day two. Say Flowers, which is really great. I love that they added that already. Uh, Jalen Hyatt. You know, speedster out of Tennessee had a really great year with Hendon Hooker. They got Trenton Trenton Simpson, who is kind of like the Isaiah Simmons uh, for that team of Clemson last year, where he, where they put him all over. He can rush, rush to the passer, he can drop back and play coverage. He should do it all. Swiss Army knife on defense. Uh, you can put him in at you know strong safety slot. Put him at nickel corner. He can do different things like that. Josh Downs, another explosive. Um, under six foot receiver. Uh, shout out to Vonsal Barty for this tip right here with uh, Edge Will McDonald the fourth. A uh, really nice pass rusher, and I won't be surprised if we go pass rusher in the first three rounds if you're the Dallas Cowboys because that is a sneaky need. That and linebacker are sneaky needs that the Dallas Cowboys need. So, you know, thankfully looking at Trenton Simpson, who can possibly be a 58 pick sort of guy. So, you know, Edge is somebody that, you know, we can. Potentially also look at, I would love to get Will McDonald if we can, either uh, day two, sometime in day two, but depending on how the board falls, if you're wiped out at uh, 26 and Will McDonald's on the board, I would definitely would love the Dallas Cowboys to pick up Will McDonald. Uh, DeMarvian Overshone, somebody I already talked about before in a uh, previous mock draft before, I think by either my second or my third mock draft, uh, I was talking about drafting him, but not only that, uh, six four six no man six three linebacker that the ESPN had him at six four but if you go to NFL.com they had him at six three still a really tall linebacker can do it all definitely Dan Quinn sort of guy TCU nice explosive back uh, more your power style runner safety Tanner McAllister you got wide receiver Xavier Gibson and then you got some of the other names that you guys like other than Jackson Smith and Jibba. You have Darnell Washington. Now they're um, saying that he's an extended tackle for your offense. He can be like that. Uh, he will be a nice safety blanket. He is 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, so he's a really tall tight end, athletic tight end who can stretch, not really stretch the field, but he definitely is somebody that can get open. You throw the ball, he can definitely make something happen. And I would love for the Dallas Cowboys, if they can get him in the third round, that would be nice, especially since we know how the value of round one tight ends aren't really that great. Um... You know, just for example, T.J. Hawkinson, he didn't pan out in Detroit. He got traded. Uh, same thing with the other Iowa tight end. I know a font. 
Same thing, he got traded. He went for, you know, he's selected by the Broncos, I believe, in the top 10. Then he got traded. So, you know, a lot of these uh, tight ends don't really pan out in the first round. So I'm not in the ballpark of selecting a tight end in the first round. Unless, you know, if, if he's a generational tight end like Kyle Pitts, which there isn't a Kyle Pitts in this draft, uh, you can you could possibly say he didn't work out. But, I mean, it, it's kind of hard when your quarterbacks have been Marcus Mariota. Then you have Matt Ryan for a year. He was solid. And then, you you know, you're most likely probably going to have Desmond Ritter moving forward. So your quarterback play isn't going to be all too well. And then uh, another person that we're looking at with at the linebacker position is Drew Sanders. Man, I really love this uh visit of getting Andrew Sanders, especially if we can draft, I wouldn't mind. I'm not against drafting linebacker because like I said, that's another sneaky need outside of the edge. Because if you honestly, if you look at edge, um, outside of Michael Parsons and Sam Williams, who you got on contracts for the next two or three years, uh, you got Dante Fowler on one year deal. Uh, you're probably not going to have Demarcus Lawrence past 2024. George uh, Armstrong's also in his last year of his deal. So if you're the Dallas Cowboys, you're looking at edge rusher. That's why I like the uh, three-day visit of a Will McDonald. But then also when you get a Drew Sanders, we need to depth that linebacker because, like I said before in previous videos, uh, Leighton Vanders is not always uh, available for 17-plus games. So he's always going to miss about four or five games every single season. And especially look at the way that you look at his contract, uh, he didn't get that much money. Uh, you know, because he just really has been an unreliable type of person. Yes, when he is available, he's a really good starter for you. But when he's hurt, he's hurt. And uh, he's never, he's not, he's not even average when he's playing hurt neither. You can totally tell when he's playing hurt. So uh, checking out Drew Sanders would be really great because he can do it all. Um, this is definitely somebody that you can look at with as a Mark Parsons, somebody who came into Bam as an edge rusher, then they converted him to linebacker. So he's still new at the linebacker position just how Michael Parsons was. So, and, and the tape shows it as well. So it isn't some guy that just popped up on the scene. So, uh, you know, consistently he was solid throughout the season. Definitely somebody, Drew Sanders, that I would not mind spending a pick 26. And if, if he's there at 58 in the second round, that's definitely somebody I'm not even questioning about. I'll easily pull the trigger and go get a Drew Sanders if he's there at 58. But most likely I see Drew Sanders as a late uh, day one early to mid day two pick so anywhere from our pick all the way to the top of the second round to about where we pick out in the 26th all the way down to 31 where the Eagles uh, select at the end of the first round that's where I see uh, Drew Sanders being selected at I don't see him going anywhere past uh, 58 or even to round three so yeah man uh, that's about it really for the third day visits uh, I like the new additions they added to it. Uh, Drew Sanders really stuck out for me. Darnell Washington, Jackson Smith, and Jibba. If he is, if he were to fall at twenty six, that'd be lovely. Uh, Demarvin Overshone, that's somebody you could po possibly get in the second or third round. Will McDonald, I love that. He's a really nice uh, edge rusher, one of the top five best edge rushers in this class. Josh Downs, Jalen Hyatt is a Flowers, definitely top ten wide receivers in their. Uh, position this you know this coming out the draft you got Trenton Simpson who's a really nice player and then you got Emmanuel Forbes and you got Tyreek Stevenson man so yeah man that's about it for the video hope you guys have a nice day stay safe stay blessed bye